This video is on malicious code or script execution. Malicious code or script execution is just a line of code that can install malware like Logic Bomb or download other malware from internet upon activation. For the Security Plus 601 exam, you will need to have a general understanding of five different codes that can be used maliciously. First, we have PowerShell. PowerShell is a command line shell and related scripting language that gives adversary access to almost everything in Windows. PowerShell attacks are challenging to detect because they execute commands directly from memory and do not write anything to the disk. This can allow attackers to disable Windows Defender's antivirus prevention capabilities like live detection, script and file scanning, and whole space intrusion prevention system. Python is a cross-platform language, meaning it is run on Linux Windows as long as it is installed on the operating system. It is a simple but powerful language. Attackers can create script in a couple of minutes, and it can establish persistence so that even if you kill the process, it will start itself back up. And it could also establish a backdoor, and it can also obfuscate communications both internally and with external servers and set up command and control links. Malicious Python script can be embedded into other executable applications. Bash script is created as place hashtag exclamation bin bash at the top of the file. Bash script is a plain text file which contains series of commands. These commands are a mixture of commands we would normally tap ourselves on the command line. Note that anything you can run normally on the command line can be put into script and it will do exactly the same thing. Similarly, anything you can put into a script can also be run normally on the command line and it will do exactly the same thing. Next, we have macros and visual basic for application. Macros are programs that are typically used in Microsoft Office products and are written in Word Basic, Visual Basic, or VB script. Macros help users automate actions that they would have otherwise have to do manually. Instead of performing each action separately, users can create a series of activities and common tasks to perform when a button is clicked. Macrovirus is a platform independent virus built into one of these macro languages. Macroviruses are common because they're simple to create and due to the fact that Microsoft Office is heavily used. Macrovirus is a kind of virus specifically designed for Microsoft Word, Excel, and other applications using Visual Basic for Application VBA. Yeah.